All right, chapter seven. This is the test that you guys struggled with here. So let's go through this. First of all, read the question carefully. Determine the following probabilities. So we have to do a probability. State whether the answer is theoretical, relative, or subjective. Then explain why you chose whichever one you did. So there's one, two, three things you got to do. First, the probability. A baseball batter getting two hits in a row. Well, the probability of the first hit is 0 0.310 times the probability of the second one, 0 0.310 turns out to be a probability of got my calculator comes out to be uh, 0 0.31 times 0 0.310 is 0 .9, 0 0.0961 0.096 Now, second question, is that theoretical, relative, or subjective? Theoretical is the kind where you can list all the outcomes and find out how many outcomes are the correct one. You can't list the outcomes, all the possible outcomes from a baseball batter hitting the ball. So, uh, I mean, you could in terms of I got a single, double, or triple, but Hitting it where causes what to happen. What they've done here is you've looked at the data from lots of previous at bats and got this statistic for this batter. And so it's based on previous tries, which is a relative frequency. How often do they regularly, how frequently do they hit the ball? And this is three, 31 times out of 100 or 310 times out of 1,000. So this is based on relative frequency based on the on batter's history where you collect data and so that's a battery history which is relative frequency from previous at bats. Now, B, rolling a number greater than 4 on one die. Well, there's 5 and 6 out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So that's 2 outcomes out of the 6 is the probability, or 1 out of 3, or 0.3333. Now, did we use the history of rolling the dice to get this? the relative frequency, or did we count all the possibilities and then looked at how many of those outcomes, looked at all the outcomes, six of them, and two of them were the desired, five and six were greater than four, and so we looked at the total number of outcomes and the total of outcomes that are desired, and so that's the theoretical. Because we considered all outcomes and successful. Okay. Subjective would have been, and some of you chose subjective for one of these, would have been something where, oh, I think it's gonna got a 30% chance to rain today, and I have nothing to base it on. I didn't look it up or anything, or I just got a feeling, or oh, I got a feeling I'm going to be sick today. Well, maybe you have some evidence you got uh, from history, and that would make it experimental, but if you're just saying, oh, I'm, I think I'm going to get sick, or I'm going to... Uh, lose the lottery today or whatever, 
if it's not based on any history, it's just uh, this is what you think. So it, that becomes subjective. Subject, um, subjective. Say it right. Okay, not so fashionable. Has six shirts and three pairs of pants. Three shirts are striped and three are solid. The solids are gray, green, and blue. <coughs> the striped are also essentially gray, green, or blue. Two pair of pants are khaki and one is blue jeans. So, if you're going to pick outfits here, not so is always always picks random outfits. So, therefore, his first choice might be his pants or it might be his shirt. I'm going to go with shirt so he can pick uh, uh, a blue striped, green striped, uh, gray striped. So that's a different green. I'll just change that. Use a little stripe. Or a blue solid, green solid, or gray solid. And then he can choose one one of the khakis or the other khaki or the blue jeans. And khaki one or khaki two or blue jeans. Khaki one, khaki two, or blue jeans. Khaki one, khaki two, or blue jeans. Khaki one, khaki two, blue jeans. Khaki one, khaki two, blue jeans. Now, how many, that's the tree diagram, that's worth two. By the way, in the problem one, A was worth three, and B was worth three. Two, the tree diagram was worth two. B, how many outfits can you get? That's worth two. And now, some of you counted all these out here and these spots in here. But this one would be just got a green shirt, a gray shirt on, but nothing else. You have to get a shirt and pants. Shirt and pants, shirt and pants. So the you know, the branch goes clear to the end, and the only the ends are counted as different ones. So there's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen branches. So B, there's eighteen different choices. Now somebody may say it's only twelve because there's two khaki, they look the same, and so you have to divide it by and you got to reduce it by uh, a third, because that's a third of the choices, the second khakis. And if you were looking, thinking different outfits, um, that would be the case. But it doesn't say different outfits. It just says diff uh, outfits. How many outfits are they choose from? Okay. What is the probability the outfit is a blue shirt and khakis? Well, blue striped, or it's not there. Well, yes, a blue could be uh, striped or blue not striped. And khaki, so there's blue striped, one, two of them that have blue striped and khaki, and two of them that have blue and khaki. So that's four. Out of the 18, which is two ninths. What is the probability the outfit selected has, gre has green or striped? Green is, that would be green. There's one, two, three, green and striped. All of these up here are striped, so there's three, six, nine. And down here, these are solid colors, but the green ones are these three here, so 3, 6, 9, 12. And is with blue jeans. Oh, so that's going to cut it back now. So green and striped, or striped is all these, but with blue jean, there's only one, two, three. Down here, 
green and blue jean, there's one. So there's one, two, three, four out of the 18 that have green or striped shirt and is with a blue jean. So the probability is two ninths or 0 0.2222. And then six, what is the probability that there's no blue in the outfit? Well, this is blue, so uh, all those are gone. This is green stripe, so blue jeans be gone, so there's two there. This is green striped, and there's blue jean hairs, but there's not on these two, so there's two there. This one's got blue, so none of those will happen. This is green, but there's blue jean there, so there's two there. And then this one's gray, and there's blue on that one, but not on those two, so there's two more. Two, four, six, eight out of the 18 have no blue in them, which is four ninths, or 0.4444. Each one of these was worth two points. And now three. Imagine a game where you draw a random card from a deck of 52 cards. Then, without replacing the card, you draw again. What is the probability of getting at least one ace? Well, if you count trying to get an ace every time, excuse me, if you try to get an ace every time, there would be four to choose from out of the 52. Then if we don't replace the card, then there would only be three out of 51, and then two out of the 50 cards left. That would be getting all three aces. But it says at least one ace. So we could get all three aces, or two of them aces in any order, or one of them an ace in any spot first draw, second, or third. Well, that's a lot of things to figure out. Let's figure out the opposite. What's the probability of not getting an ace and take it away from one? So I'm going to do one minus. Now, how many cards are not aces? Well, there's four aces in 52, so there's 48 cards that are not aces in the 52. And then that's the first draw times. Now I got to draw the second time. And since we didn't replace, you now have fewer cars. cards. You had 48. Now there's 47 cards to choose from that are not aces because the four aces are still there. We're picking non aces. 47 of the 51 cards that are still left are not aces. And then finally the third card. Since we picked a non-ace there that reduced it to 47 and we pick a non-ace again it makes, there's 46 non-aces left out of and we've picked two cards out of the 52 so there's 50 left. So one minus this would be the probability of getting at least one at least one. One minus getting none. So, if I do the numerator, it's 48 times 47 times 46. Then I got to divide that by parenthesis 51 plus, oh, excuse me, 52 times. 51 times 50. And that this part is 0.7826. If we take that away from 1, we get 0.2174 or about a 21% chance, 22% chance. But there's the probability of getting at least one ace 
which is 1 minus getting no aces without replacement. That's page 1.